Once upon a time, we got an idea to install a gray water system so water from a kitchen sink could go to plants instead of to a septic tank. Except those plants will be dormant in winter, so any funky sink stuff would just build up and be gross. How about if we made a small greenhouse? Greenhouses are famous for needing more heat than homes. All that glass is a very poor insulator. Plus, they can get too hot on a sunny day and kill everything in the greenhouse. We have a lot of projects here doing amazing things to solve heating problems. So can we invent a greenhouse that never gets too cold or too hot? Maybe we can use some elements of Mike Ehler's greenhouse design and some elements of our Wafati design, and maybe a few other ideas. Our design starts with the general shape of Mike Ehler's design from the Earth Sheltered Solar Greenhouse book. He grew tomatoes in December off-grid with no heat of any kind in northern Idaho. The genius of his design includes three improvements over a traditional greenhouse. Improvement number one, reduce the size of the airspace with a trench. Improvement number two, an earth berm on the north side, thus some added insulation and less glass. Improvement number three, most importantly, the five foot deep trench under the walkway. I think that the trench adds a big dose of superpowers that most people overlook. If the deep ground temperature is a constant 50 degrees, then whenever the temperature in the greenhouse drops below 50, the 50 degree air from the trench will rise up and the colder air will sink down. Before he died, I talked to Mike about another possible improvement. Improvement number four. What if a copper pipe was blackened, shaped to follow the glass vertically, and dropped down near the bottom of the trench? When the sun hits the greenhouse, the top of the pipe would heat up and act like a straw to pull cold air from the bottom of the trench. Eventually, the hot air at the top of the greenhouse would be pulled into the trench and warm it. I called it a de-stratification pipe. Mike agreed that this would probably help a lot. Improvement number five. A common farmer trick is to put 20 feet of well casing into the ground, then put a watering trough on top of that. When the outdoor temperature is negative 25 degrees, the water doesn't freeze. When the water gets cold, it cools the air at the top of the hole. So the 50 degree air from underground rises to the top and the colder air right below the trough sinks. There's so much air exchange that the water remains warm enough to not freeze. With this trick, plus the previous improvements, maybe we can circulate enough heated air from the greenhouse through the pipe to get the temperature at the bottom of the hole closer to 70 degrees instead of 50. Improvement number six. Our Wafati house design attempts to use heat from the summer to heat a home through winter. We do this by berming dry earth against and on top of the structure and keep it dry with a membrane we call the umbrella. We're still experimenting with these structures, but so far they've had no freeze, even in our Montana winters. So let's add dry dirt to the roof, the west side, the east side, and the north side and an umbrella to keep that thermal mass dry. Improvement number seven. Our original mission was to design a year-round gray water system for a cold climate. In this case, the problem is the solution. Gray water tends to be warm. If part of the greenhouse is dedicated to accepting gray water, then there's a constant stream of warmth pouring into the greenhouse. 